Yeah. Zombies. What's going on guys? Today we are going to be talking about Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Zombies. Yes, we are talking about zombies today. Now what I want to talk about is they just released some more information on zombies and I think it's really good information and this is what people really want to know. They announce all the characters, what they do, what their backstories are, all that kind of stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through this and I am going to touch on all of these topics. I hope you all enjoy the video. Now this is called Zombie Shadow of Evil and what it is it is set in the 1940s, it's in a city, and it's based around four characters. Usually, Zombies is based around four characters, and they're troubled, they got issues going on, and they team up together to fight these huge mobs of zombies. It's pretty typical Zombies as so far. Now, I don't know if any of you have played any of the Black Ops Zombies yet, but I feel that Black Ops brings the best zombie experience that you can experience. It's very dark, very old-timey. Black Ops really knew what they were doing when they made the first zombies, and they're continuing that type of feel as of right now, and I'm very excited for this. Advanced Warfare was a great zombies, but the old-timey, classic feel of Black Ops Zombies is coming back, and I cannot wait for it. Now, they released all the information on the four characters here. The four characters' names well, they don't really give names, they give kind of like a overview of what they are. Now, the first character is a female. It is Femme Fatale or Femme Fatale. It is the female in the game. I know I'm not pronouncing her name right, but I really can't find anybody actually pronouncing it. But she's the female in the group. Next, we have the Magician, the Cop, and the Boxer. Now, we can start with the girl, Femme Fatale. Femme Fatale. She is an actress slash dancer that works in a very upscale nightclub. She she's very seductive. She's wearing a seductive dress. It's kind of you know the female character of the game. It kind of just draws some more people into it. Uh, she seems very hardcore. She seems very gun savvy. But she yeah she's the female character in the game. She kind of seems like she'd be kind of cool to play with. Don't take that the wrong way. <laughs> Next we have the magician. The magician is a very wealthy, popular man. He is the arrogant one of the group. Now he's the one that thinks he knows it all, he's he's the top dog of the game, he believes. He's the one that's going to be the, you know, listen to me, do this, do that, he's going to try to lead. Um, and this is going to come on because he is going to be the wealthy one of the group. And that's pretty much all the information I have on the magician, I'm sure he can do some pretty cool magic tricks too. Next we have the cop. This is the stereotypical, bribable cop that works alongside the mob and he's been taking bribes ever since he started as a cop. He's been going under, he's been going through an investigation with his department and that is all I really know about him. As you can see a lot of these characters have some issues going on and I'm sure that's going to tie into the storyline very well. Next we have the boxer. Now this guy seems to be the one that a lot of people are going to want to be. He is the one that likes to cause damage. Now he is the boxer and his backstory is that he really likes to put brass knuckles underneath his boxing gloves just to cause damage. He's not looking to win fights or anything like that, he's just looking to cause people pain. And now I'm sure that he's going to be the big hey, tough guy, macho man in the game and he's going to be the one that I think a lot of people are going to want to play. Now we can talk a little bit more about the surroundings here. Now the surrounding area is called Morgue City and it features a theater, a jazz club, and, and a suspension railway. Now this again is tying into this old timey feel, you know, the jazz club, you got the theater and all that kind of stuff. It's gonna be kind of cool to see all this stuff playing together. I haven't seen too much footage of the theater yet, but I think the theater is going to be a kind of cool place to do uh, rape trains and all that kind of stuff. I can't wait to see that. Now we're just going to wrap this up with the entire concept of the game, the story and what is really going on. Now the characters all wake up in a zombie infested world, believe it or not. Some of them have amnesia on what's going on, some of them are really confused on what's going on, and what their thing is is they are trying to figure out how to piece together what really happened here. And that's all the information they really gave us on the website. There's a lot of information that just came out on it. I hope you guys enjoyed all this information. This is probably going to be a pretty quick video. Thank you all so much for watching. Like and subscribe. See ya later.